Hey guys, Dustin Troyan here. I'm back at Supercar Sunday, brought to you by Porsche Woodland Hills. Today was British Car Marquee Day, the event's almost over, but we finally have time to talk to Ernie from the Murphy Museum, who brought out on a flatbed one of the most incredible cars we've ever had here. Ernie, tell us about this car. Uh, this car was a 1931 Rolls-Royce limousine in London in the 30s. In the 40s, it was still a limousine, but it was an ambulance. And it remained there with an ambulance. And then in 1950, an American bought it. He brought it across the ocean to Fairfield, Massachusetts, who was an authorized dealer and manufacturer for Rolls Royce. They took the limousine body off and they put the boat tail on it. And you can see in the back of it, it is an actual boat tail. In the 30s, most of the cars, the sports cars, were all made up into boats or boat tails. The wood on this particular car is the same wood that's on a Chris Craft boat. Wow. The pinstriping is the same as on a Chris Craft boat. 20 years ago, Carroll Shelby bought this car. Whoa, at whoa, whoa, let me stop you. Okay. The Carroll Shelby. The Carroll Shelby. Own this car. Own this car. Wow. Let me show you. So you, you, you've driven a car that Carroll Shelby's driven? Absolutely. Wow. Here is the white slip. As you can see, it says Carroll Shelby, the registered owner on it. Also a picture here of Carol Shelby and Cleo Shelby, his wife, who now owns the automobile. Wow. He bought this car about 20 years ago at auction for $150,000. Now that he's passed away, Cleo owns the car. She keeps it at the Murphy Auto Museum. It hadn't ran for about 10 years. So we had our mechanic go to work on it and put about 12 hours into it before it does run. It, we do flatbed it to the different car shows, but it is driven. If you come to the Murphy, the third Sunday of the month from eight o'clock to 10 o'clock, which is our coffee and cars, the car's out front. And uh, if people want to take a ride, I will give a ride around the block. Wow. So that's the story on the car. It is a beautiful, beautiful car. Now, people are talking about today, what's the estimated value of this car? You know, Carroll Shelby paid $150,000 for it 20 years ago. As you can see, it is a Carroll Shelby car. Uh, I don't know. It should, it should be a seven-figure car. Wow. wow. Somebody, somebody here was saying, you know, they estimated it upwards of $20 million at auction. I, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, we, we had somebody here today saying, that's a $20 million car. And I said, well, I, you know, you never know what somebody it, it's wants. It's probably a seven, seven figure car, but it's uh, 20 million, so a little exorbitant. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, listen, thank you so much for coming out today. Thank you I'm for walking around the car. Thank you for sharing. All right. Thank Murphy you. Murphy Museum. Check it out, everybody. What, how can they get to the Murphy Museum? Murphy Museum is in Oxnard. We're off of Rose and Fifth Street. We are open Saturday and Sunday uh, to, from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock. The third Sunday of the month, which this month happens to be Father's Day, we will have uh, coffee and cars, and it's free. If you come inside the museum, we will take a picture of all the fathers in our 1981 Cornish convertible. Nice. nice. Murphymuseum.com or .org? Uh, .com. .com. Murphymuseum.com. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Another great day at Supercar Sunday, brought to you by Porsche Woodland Hills. Carol Shelby's Rolls Royce, his bow tail. Always a great day out here. Always a lot of fun. Day. Thank you, Murphy Museum.
All right, thank you all for another great day. Supercarsunday.com, we'll see you out here.